Boston College heads to Notre Dame. And Notre Dame is a 21-point favorite with a total of 42 and a half. I mean, what are we talking about here? Uh, just a super low total to be favored by three touchdowns. Just nuts. And, and we saw what Notre Dame did just last week against Navy. They get up big, and then they kind of sit on it, and Navy's able to squash them. Now, Boston College's defense is not going to be able to do that, but regardless. Uh, let's talk about some of the trends here. Uh, Boston College is 5-2 and two against the spread of their last seven in Notre Dame. Uh, the road team, however, in this matchup is 6-2 and two against the spread in the last eight meetings. So something to pay attention to there. Uh, Boston College, 2-5 and five against the spread against a team with a winning record. They are 4-11 and 11 against the spread in their last 15 non-conference games, and they're 3-9 and nine against the spread in the last 12 games overall. It seems like BC is getting a little bit healthy. They're getting some guys back. Uh, just, you know, maybe. Uh, Notre Dame just wins and covers against ACC teams. They are 7-0 and oh against the spread. Their last seven against the ACC. And and Notre Dame, of course, a different coach, et cetera, but the trends are they are 14-3-1 and one against the spread in their last 18 in November. Uh, you look at some of the other things here, Notre Dame also 2-5 and five against the spread their last seven games at home. It's because the number gets a little bit inflated, and I feel like it might be a little bit inflated here, although the data would show... Uh, over the past five weeks, I've got Notre Dame by 20.86. Some things changed for Boston College last week. A new quarterback played. Uh, the offense actually looked competent. Defense able to get a couple of stops, etc. I don't think that this Boston College defense is going to really be able to slow down Notre Dame a whole lot. Uh, but when you look, over the past five weeks, BC number 44 in rushing success rate allowed. Notre Dame is number 29. Notre Dame is not explosive on the ground either, which is one of the biggest weaknesses for Boston College. Notre Dame number 107 in rushing explosiveness. Boston College number 108 on defense. Uh, you start looking at PPA per pass, all that. Like Notre Dame only throws the ball 36% of the time over the past five weeks. Um, the passing success rate, like number 78 for Notre Dame's offense, number 103 for Boston College's defense. Like there's not a huge advantage here. Um, but you look at like the defensive numbers. Like, Notre Dame is going to be able to shut down this passing game because it, Boston College is throwing the ball 70% of the time almost. Like, it, it's pretty nuts. Uh, and that's the one thing that Notre Dame does really, really well. They're number 10 in passing success rate allowed, number 9 in PPA per pass. Here is where it could get a little tricky. Passing explosiveness, of course, Zay Flowers. We all know what's going on there. Uh, Boston College's offense is number 7 in passing explosiveness. Notre Dame's defense number 81. So they can give up some pretty big plays. Uh, and that's how I think BC is going to be able to stay in this is a couple of chunk plays here and there. You look at the BC offense, and they are not going to run the ball very much. Uh, so all these numbers in the green that look really good for Notre Dame on that left side of your screen, uh, it's not really going to matter. They're running the ball less than 30% of the time. And so something to pay attention to with that, of course. Uh, this PPA margin, like the defense uh, for Notre Dame, number 11 PPA per drive on defense, but they're only number 75 PPA per drive on offense. I I think BC stays in this ballgame. I think they find a way to stay in this thing. Uh, at the 21 just feels like it's a little too much. Even though these numbers right here tell me that, I think Notre Dame can get up big and then give up a few plays to where they stay, like BC stays in this thing. Don't forget, Notre Dame's got USC next week. Are they really all that worried about Boston College? I think they may just try and run out the clock here. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But give me, give me Boston College plus the 21. Uh, I like I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing right now. I, I don't think Jeff Halfley is a bad coach. And also, I don't think Notre Dame really cares all that much about covering this spread against BC. So, uh, so yeah, give me BC with, you know, a total of 42.5 and, and a spread of 21. That's insane. That's just stupid. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.